Hello everyone, my name is Trinity Aeronaut and today I would like to show you I would like to uh, show you how to use wind lights. It is the second in my tutorial uh, uh, of in, in world uh, photography. Um, basically on the in the first tutorial I showed you how to use light and to be precise I showed you how to use Nam's skin and prim to get the perfect skin color and um, take a great photo it was not a perfect photo but it was a great photo um, but it was uh, a, a one um, one light photo and the skin was uh, lovely. It was didn't have a lot of um, shadow and shading and um, that's what wind lights are for in all honesty. They are to provide an atmosphere and an emotion to uh, to this world and um, and life to this world uh, and a, a little bit of reality. Before I do that I would like to uh, go ahead and tell you what I am wearing. This is from 68 Maine. It is uh, from the feet up. It is uh, the feet are Tegan from Au Pair. The uh, jeans are from La Boss and they are called ripped jeans. And the top is that beautiful top that beautiful cropped sweater, cropped sweater that I got from Snow Paws that I was drooling over uh, when I visited there. So that is what I'm wearing. I will be putting uh, the, everything I'm wearing on my blog. I will also be putting um, uh, uh, a few other things on my blog. Uh, I'll get to those later. Um, but for now, I would like to show you how to use wind lights. So, to use wind lights, the first thing you have to do is to bring your preferences up the way I showed you last time. So, you're going to go to your graphics, you're going to go to your general tab, and you're going to jack this all the way up to ultra or as high as you can get. At high, you start it starts allowing you to put some of these shader uh, check marks in. At Ultra, they'll, they're will they all put in. Also, you will find that the shadows are sun and moon and projectors. Uh, the, uh, sh the avatar shadows are complex. The water reflections are pink. Um, as you can see, uh, you've got terrain trees, static objects, you've got it all. Uh, your point lighting is full. And uh, your draw distance, uh, I set my draw distance to uh, a little on the high level just so that um, I can get more. Um, the max particle count, the maximum complexity, all of that. Um, you've got uh, the level of detail is four. You've got hardware skinning, avatar cloth. You've got high detail on the terrain. The terrain. And then over here under hardware settings, you've got anastropic filtering and you've got anti-aliasing as high as you can get it. I this, uh, this machine only gets it to 4, but some of my other machines have re gotten as high as 12 and, um, and, and some of my other machines have also gotten, gotten to 8. So that's, that this is actually not quite as high but it still does the trick for taking a, a good shot. So, this is how you get to wind lights. Wind lights is part of the Firestorm package, as well as these uh, photo tools down here, which you can see. Um, and the sky tool up here, which... Um, you, well, it's also very useful. So, let's go to World. Let's go to Environmental Editor, Environmental Settings, and start trying some wind lights. Basically, everything except the default fixed sky is a wind light. Uh, you've got your atmospherics here. You've got noon on a cloudy day. You've got, oh... 
7 and cloudy. 7 in the morning and cloudy. Nice. Look at that. That's beautiful. Really beautiful. You've got... Canamod. Let's see what. Oh, that's that's gorgeous too. This is almost like a fantasy. These are like for fantasy shots, I think. Um, I certainly wouldn't wouldn't use uh, something like this if I was attempting uh, any natural uh, nature photography or landscape photography. Uh, Starly, that is beautiful. Look at that, and it's great for taking um, images of models. Because the one thing that a designer really hates is when a blogger using wind light settings changes the color of their clothing. So that is something that I really would prefer um, you to get to know your wind lights so that um, you can figure out what you can and cannot do. Now, when it comes to your own photography, uh, nature or landscapes, um, art, all of that kind of thing, you you absolutely do want to you do want to uh, use um, these wind light settings because they really do add atmosphere, emotion. They tell the story, uh, but um, but for editorial. Um, blogging, you don't want to do that. Now that is a great shot. Look at that. Oh my god. I've got to take this shot. Oh, beautiful. Now that is not a fashion shot. It is an art shot. Anyway, let's try a few other lights. You've got some very, uh, there you go. These are all kind of fantasy shots. Um, big puffy clouds. That's beautiful. You can slow those clouds down. That's for another, another um, class. Uh, uh, you've got really some beautiful, beautiful, um, Shots that are, are really not um, natural, but uh, um, are really gorgeous anyway. Um, you've got beach scene here. That's gorgeous. That's not quite as... that. There is not a lot of cloud cover in that sky. Um, I'm going to show you some of the places that I first found when I was doing this. Uh, there are places, and these are actually really some absolutely beautiful um, shots. Ooh, this is gorgeous, too. But I think I'm going to go over this way and take it. So I can get these trees in the shot. Gorgeous. Two different wind lights, two very different pictures. And so that's Anna Maria. Uh, we've got Astra's Wild. Look at that, just beautiful shots. These are these are our shots. Some of them you can take. And, um, and not change the color of your outfit for those bloggers that need to blog. But some of them you cannot. It's, it's just really a great idea to know what you can and cannot do as far as um, changing, changing the look of an image, um, of, a, of a design. Um, anyway... 
So here's another great shot. And you can see I'm just snapping these as I as I move. They're just, you know, they're really gorgeous. This is the beauty of wind light. And some of these are just they still I still am learning about wind lights. I just, you know, as I, uh, uh, you can see as we go along and all of these colors. Now, if, uh, for example, uh, something like this uh, gets you overexposed, you can go up here to sky and then you can go ahead and pull down your gamma. And it's just a matter of pulling around with this till you get it. The way you want it. That looks pretty good. So anyway, but just remember, the minute you close out this edit sky preset, it goes back to what you had before. Uh, so, some of these other settings I want to show you. Uh, I'll turn this way. Um, we've got greed. This is a nice um, one for uh, skin, as is um, greed 2. These are really beautiful, and um, they don't tend to wash out or overexpose your model. Paris are other good ones as well for taking skin shots or color um, or, or photography of uh, uh, clothing because it doesn't really change the um, the color. Uh, looks like um, we've got a couple here that are mood shots with the sky. Let's see what that is. Oh, wow, look at that. That's beautiful. See where that light, light source is. Look at the moon. Oh, lovely. Lovely. Um, and then there's a couple I'd like to show you uh, that I, I, I just find really um, fantastic. And... Tron Legacy. Um, Pre Dawn. Pre Dawn Moon is a great one. Pink Purple. Pink Purple, when you're in the sky with clouds, and the clouds all just turn this amazing pink gray sky moon. And, um, uh, and there's a few others, but um, we'll go over those. Keep in mind, all of this comes with Firestorm. All of these, um, different wind lights that people have made, the photo tools, all of it. It's um, it's just a very, very loaded program when it comes to photography. Uh, some of these other settings, oh, just beautiful. Look at that. That's Paris. And that tends, this is a, Paris is a good, is a good skin setting I think because it's got very little shadows in it and it gives kind of a pink hue to the skin 
kind of a kind of a soft pink hue as you can see there are also some other really really lovely skin settings uh, I, I just I, I told you about um, about Nam skin and prim but it there is there is more here um, there's even some studio uh, s uh, skin as well there's so much here okay th those are the those are the three those are the Nam skin and prim those are the three optimal uh, ones but it looks like uh, I don't know. We have to have to go through these. There's so many. Here we go. Here's a strawberry sing. That is for close-ups. Uh, and this is for headshots. Okay, I want to show you, I want to show you two of my absolute favorites. They are really beautiful. And I have used these, actually. I want to show you quite a few, actually I would like to show you several. I'm going to show you... Two sunsets. Oriental Delight one. Hold on. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? That is so beautiful. And you do know that, for example, you could, no, re no, there is absolutely no reason for you to go out and buy these backdrops for uh, photo studios when you can take them. This is. Oriental Delight 2 and okay the next light I'd like to show you is Wastelands look at that oh I love it I love it I love it I love the light I love the shadow I love the emotion it 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 just amazing look at the look at the um the house behind you in this light that's just stunning but i want you to notice that with a lot of these wind lights i don't show up and the best of both worlds would be for me to show up as well as the light and that is what I'm going to show you next so I chew up in my studio and I will show you what can be done to to have the best of both worlds to have a wind light that emotes some kind of a feeling some kind of atmosphere and also still be able to see the um, model with the clothing and that'll w that way I'm going to cover everybody I'm going to cover the landscapist I'm going to cover the nature people and I'm going to cover the models and the bloggers and those of us who would like to take a shot and share with our friends okay we are back in the studio again and I'm gonna go ahead first before I do anything else and check this and make sure that I am seated correctly and I have 
all the, um, I have everything in and I, I'm close enough to check out the sh to see the shoes and the, the, the jeans and the sweater. And I am. It's a great pose. Uh, I can see everything here. And it's a great background. It, it looks wild. And the, and, and the only thing that would make it better is a little bit of atmosphere. So, I think I want to have it a little bit dark in this room. So, what I'm going to do is go up to World, Environmental Editor, Environmental Settings, and I want to go up to Nikon's Natural Midnight. And that gives me a lot of atmosphere. Look at that. That is just really nice. But I can't see myself. And I don't know just how to fix this unless I use something like Luma Pro. So I'm going to put on the HUD and I'm going to add the lights, the wearable lights. As you can see, the Luma Pro comes in um, in a light in um, comes with a HUD. It also comes with lights and it comes with um, a wearable projector. Now because I have um, HUDs hidden I'm, I'm not actually seeing the HUD so I'm going to unhide my HUDs so that I can see this. Now I want you to notice that these lights I've actually set them up in ahead of time so that I could basically cover everything I wanted to cover. I've got the jeans lit, I've got the the sweater lit, I've got the uh, the um, shoes lit, and I've got the bottom most of this texture lit in varying degrees. For example, it's brightest down here, it's darkest up here in the corners, it's mid, it's mid air medium, but these lights are clearly uh, in the way because when they're like this, it allows me to uh, go ahead and place them and move them around. But if I hide them, if I hide the HUD, then you will see I not only hide the HUD, I hide the lights, and I can go ahead and snap what I want. And what I'll do is I will hit refresh until I get a pose, because uh, right now I'm moving. I, there you go. That's a good one. Okay, let's save it. And go ahead and take another. After that takes, after I save that, see it's saved down here. Let's go ahead and refresh this. Look at and see. Okay, that's a great shot. But the I noticed that the uh, shoes and the light, uh, uh, the the jeans are not quite light enough. That looks like a good shot right there. And the jeans are lit. The floor is lit. Everything's lit. And I love her face like this. So I'm going to go ahead and take that. So anyway, I will go ahead and continue to do this. And I might take three or four or five of these shots or six or ten. And then I'll open them all up in Photoshop and figure out which one I like the best. Now. Just, I want to give you some ideas about this HUD. Now, this HUD is a lot of money. And 
it does a lot of things for the money. For example, you have four pre uh, placed light sources so that you can take light you can go ahead and if you're in a hurry you can do or if, if one of these happens to uh, do you well then you can go ahead and do them if they're almost perfect well then you can go ahead and 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 uh, just choose to move them around you can right click you can right click on them go into edit and then go up to edit linked and you can move the lights around so that they can be in the right spot and uh, and uh, you see you can move all of these literally you can also if you want you could also if you wanted move them you've got a light that you like but You'd like to see some of the different plate ways to, to light to light this. You can actually go up here and click on these lights and literally turn them and get the fine kind of fine lighting you want without actually having to go into control. Uh, without actually going into uh, edit and and going to edit um, edit okay so anyway this is keep you just keep doing this until you get what you like and for example if I were going to do this if I were going to actually take this shot this might be a great position for all three of them get this without actually going into edit mode and actually moving them individually so and then if you wanted to hide it you could do that now the other beautiful thing here is that not only can you do your own self but you can do other models as well and you can actually pose yourself or other models so I'm going to stand up and show you some of these poses. Also, please keep in mind that this comes with lifetime upgrades every year so that you get an upgrade. So you can go, let me see, we'll just go back to the first page and I'll just show you some of these. Well, okay, looks like this was pose one right here. There's pose one, and there we go. And if I mean, these are all really well. This is I'm in the I'm in the sofa, but let's go ahead and use take go to the next one. Oh, lovely! And the next one. So these are the kinds of things. As, assuming you, these are the kinds of things where when you are doing open air modeling and you're going out into the real world and you're doing wind lights these kinds of things can really help you now I ha I actually spent the money on this so uh, but I realized that some of you may not have that kind of money to spend on this um, I do use it all the time but you may not uh, you may also find that the heart is willing but the pocketbook is unable so let me show you what you can do as a compromise I'm gonna go ahead and remove this detach it I'm gonna detach these and I'm going to go ahead and reset my wind light to NAMS skin and prim so that I can show you what you can do to actually 
mimic some of this. Okay. All right. So, if you if worse comes to worse and you really want to um get the get the effect out outdoors and use the wind lights and still make sure that you are the focus of your images and in many cases if you're a model or a blogger you need to show those those clothes um and you st and you need to create a beautiful background but you need to not lose the color in those clothes because if there's one thing a designer really really doesn't like it's changing the color of clothing with wind lights so a light like this will go a long way in giving you a beautiful wind light and not losing the color of your clothing or your skin now if you don't have a a luma pro but you still want to make something that will give you the same kind of light or at least very close to that light I'm going to show you how to make something that you can actually use. So, this is going to have a light on it. And it's going to be smaller so that you can. work I'm gonna go ahead and put this on my chest I'm gonna call this a light or body light I'm going to I'm going to keep it like this for now. I'm going to take it and I'm going to go in and add it to my attach it to my chest. And then I'm going to move it up near my face oh, so awesome check it out now for texture I'm going to choose transparent. Now, you can either add two or three more of these and all over your body and move them around and basically you can find them again by going into control or I'm sorry, control alt T. And I will make sure that you know that um, and you can simply see them then and grab them and move them around. And just so that you understand how good these actually are. Hmm. Hold on. Okay, just so that you understand how good these homemade things are, I'm going to pull this back and I'm going to 
turn off the light. I'm going to do control alt T to take me out of that. Now, I'm going to go to World, and I'm going to go to Environmental Editor, Environmental Settings. I'm going to go back to um, Nikon's Natural Midnight, and there you go. As you can see, you've now got a light in the middle of the dark. Now, if, if you notice, you're going to see all that light around you. Uh, now, you can change that by going into Control-Alt-T and bringing up that light, going in and changing that light, pictures of that light so that you can drop the intensity and drop the radius. And you can adjust these so that all you have is your body lit. You can adjust the fall off. Or raise the fall off, I guess. So you can go in and you can adjust all of these and still and get a beautiful light. And not worry about trying to trying to light up the rest of the um, rest of the planet with this. Okay, so anyway, you can take this idea, and you can go ahead. You can take it off. You can copy it, and you can attach different parts of different lights all over your body, and like this. And if you look, this is one I made myself, and you can see that I am lit right now from head to basically to, to uh, right, maybe slightly below the knees, and there it's invisible. But if I hit 8, show. I will see all my lights and I can move them. I can right click on them, go into edit, go into edit linked and I can let's say I don't like I don't like this one where it is. I think it needs to be down a little further so you can get my get the bottoms of my legs and my shoes. And it'll go. Let's say that um this is a little high. I'd like it on my face and maybe give it a little bit more on my sweater. Uh, maybe I, I maybe I don't even like this at the back. I, I, it's not anything I can use back there. I'm taking the picture from the front so I can take it down to the middle. Or I can leave it at the back. And once you've got everything arranged the way you, it is, you can go ahead and hit that ball up at the top and it will hide everything. You can also hide this by doing forward slash eight hide. You can either hit the button or, you know, hit the ball or you can, you can do uh, forward slash hide. And I think that this is as good as the lights on, on, um, the only difference is I had to make it and I haven't got the model, the, the, the poses on it. Uh, however, going here into my inventory, I can simply pose by using animations out in the field. And again, 
You can do ballet. Or we can do steampunk. And you get, you, you know, this is a lot cheaper than 6,000 lindens. So I'm going to give you, I had to spend a little bit of money on this um, photographic body uh, light. So I'm not going to actually give it to you for one linden. I'm going to give it to you for, ooh, what the hell happened? Excuse me. There it is. Um, I actually give it to you. I'm going to make you pay five lindens for it because um, I had to pay about 500 for the lights because um, uh, the lights were uh, the, the on and off switches for these lights. So I'm going to end up. I'm going to make you pay, if you want this, I'm going to make you pay five lindens for it. And while I'm at it, you're going to find also, when you are on your your photo studio, um, you will find that being in the dark is it's it's great for mood you know these these are great for mood but they're not really good for lighting up um a model so i think i'm going to also give you this photo studio that I have, I have made, and it's a nice studio. It is, as you can see, there's a lot of different backgrounds on it, and the five lights can be turned on separately or simultaneously. And you can get just the look you want. And are finished with the look you want and the pose you want. And this is um, when you are finished with all of this. Oh, let's do that. It's very emo of me. It's very emo of me. Okay, so you're gonna you're going to click on this and you're gonna hide your lights, you're gonna hide your stand, and you're gonna choose a background. Let's say that's brown, that brown background, and you are going to snap a photo with with a lighting that really does your it's just a very nice light i have to say look at the light on that face look at the shadow you don't get that kind of shadow and highlight on um with the nam skin and, and prim but you get it with something like this this is how it's done. And you snap. Oh, 
We'll have to move it a little closer, maybe. Let's try that. Okay, maybe go up a little. Go in a little further. Go back a little. And we'll take our shot. Perfect. Here you go. You wait till it comes up in green, save to disk, or save to computer, whatever. And then you stand up and you make these things reappear by hitting this little button. Now, I'm going to give you this. Well, it's going to cost you another five lindens, but it'll include the lights, the all the beautiful backgrounds, and the the um, post stand. And you'll get all of this for five lindens. And this is it. This is much as I can teach you about light and wind lights. So, um, and how to use wind lights. And how to use light to uh, extend your wind light and uh, still get the, still get beautiful. Uh, atmosphere without losing the light or without um, changing the color of your skin and your um, clothing and that's especially important to bloggers okay that's it I'm gonna go ahead and reset this I will have both the light um, they're worth way more than that just in just in the scripts I put in them uh, but for beginners or for um, even advanced um, users who don't own a studio because they refuse to pay two or three thousand lindens for them. Uh, this will be right up your alley. I am Trinity Aeronaut, and this has been my second tutorial on light in photography in Second Life. And this is wind lights and how to use wind lights effectively as a model um, but also how to use wind lights effectively as a nature photographer or a landscape photographer 
um, I'll see you again. If you like this video, please, uh, if you enjoyed it, please like my video and please subscribe because uh, I will be doing more in-world tutorials on photography and I will also be doing more Photoshop tutorials on photography. Thank you. This is Trinity from her very messy studio. Have a great day.